Good morning, sir. Won't you try a sample of Pierre Jolie's latest cologne for men? Merci. Cologne? Not very subtle. Oh, no. Coming traffic for 500 feet. It is safe to pass on the left, on the right, or on the shoulder. Oh, well, on the left. Right. Right? No, uh, you're right. Oh, left is right. That's correct. Oh. You got it all. It's the driving I'm worried about. I really think I need more practice. No problem. I'll take you out again tomorrow morning. Kitty. I always promised your father that I would get my driver's license. I'm trying, John. Oh, Mom! Don't worry, you will be fine. Now, remember what you always told me? If you believe in yourself, you can do anything. Well, mothers always say that. It's in the mother's handbook. Hi, baby. How's my hungry boy? Anything interesting? Uh, just the usual. Bills, contracts, bills, subscription renewals, bills. I hate the ones with the little windows. Wow. This one smells terrific. We know anyone named M. Gerard in Hancock Park? Not that I know of. Rick, I'm picking up something. Mm -hmm. Pyramids. A strange, dark woman. She's Egyptian. No, 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 no. She's an actress. Oh, she's an Egyptian actress. With a name like Gerard? Well, I'm, I'm not sure about the actress part, but I, I still say she's, she's Egyptian. Well, in the first place, her name is Maurice. Doesn't sound very Egyptian to me, dear. Mm. Listen to this. Dear... Mr. and Mrs. Tucker, if you have not heard of the contrary, by the time this letter reaches you, I will be dead. In that event, I wish you to find my murderer, posthumously yours, Maurice Gerard. Well, we certainly haven't heard to the contrary, have we? 
Sounds very scary to me. Think we should take the case? Hey, we've already been hired. Yes? Uh, Mrs. Gerard? There is no Mrs. Gerard. I'm the housekeeper. Well, is Mr. Gerard in by any chance? Mr. Gerard passed away Friday. Well, certainly looks like his handwriting. But you know, Mr. Gerard had a strange sense of humor. And a taste for the exotic, as you can see. Rick, it's all Egyptian. Egypt was his passion. Mrs. Flanagan, how did he die? They say it was a heart attack. But the man was strong as an ox. He used to walk to work five miles every day, from here to Wilshire, then down to the mall to check out the perfumes in the store and over to his office. I suppose it was the stress of his work. Mrs. Flanagan, what kind of work did he do? He was a perfumer. He created new perfumes for his company, the House of Fragrance. Can you think of anybody who'd want to murder your partner? Maurice? Oh, everybody loved that man. Unless it was for revenge. Well, then he did have enemies. No, no. The formula, revenge. That was a new perfume he was working on for the Countess Massini line. They're going to call it Revenge. Why would anyone kill for a perfume formula? It's worth millions to the perfumer who wins the Massini contract. Oh, I guess people have killed for less. Are you the chief chemist here, Mr...? Whitewood. Maurice grabbed him right out of Caltech. He taught me everything. Well, except for the one thing you can't teach. In this business, they call it a nose. I guess you have to be born with that, don't you? Afraid so. It must be frustrating for you not to have this so-called nose. That's life. Mm -hmm. uh, Beatrice, you've been partners for 28 years. Uh-huh. And uh, he wouldn't trust you with the combination to the safe? Well, he's guarded mm. his precious formulas like they were plans for the nuclear sub. I only hope he kept a copy of his formula in the safe. Don't worry, it's there. How do you know? You clairvoyant or something? Or something. She gets feelings. Oh. It's open. It is here. Oh, the old fool. We were supposed to deliver this formula tomorrow. It's not the formula? More of his security games, riddles yet. Rosetta Stone holds key to revenge. Rosetta Stone? It's the stone tablet that provided the means of deciphering Egyptian hieroglyphics. Yeah, I know, Ron. I was just wondering, why the Rosetta Stone? He based a small part of the revenge formula on an ancient Egyptian perfume recipe he found. Had it translated from hieroglyphics. Excuse me. Rick, hmm? more Egyptian. You know, your wife's a little spooky. Oh... You get used to it. Oh, honey, are you sure you need me? I mean, I could take a cab to Messini's, get a list of revenge competitors. You just take a sec. Oh, I could keep the ball rolling, you know what I mean? Yo, Stucky! Slow day. What can I do for you? You got a guy named uh, Maurice Gerard here? Oh, yeah. Uh, number 24. Uh, French guy. Heart attack, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've been keeping him cool until he's... Family come from Paris. You want to see him? Huh? No, no, I don't. You done an autopsy on him? No. Oh, Stucky, I sure would like to see one. You can't do that without a relative's permission. You can if there's suspicion of foul play. So, go talk to the coroner. 
You're the one with the nephew in priorities. Can you tell me why I should do this for this character? Uh, yes, I can, because of your deep personal relationship and all you've meant to each other over the years. Yeah, I knew there was a reason. Check back tomorrow. Thanks, Ducky. Bye, Stucky. Here. What's your interest in this uh, guy, anyway? Uh, he's a client. <clears throat> Honey? What do you think could happen if I wore an outfit like that? You get great service in a bank. <laughs> oh, no, that'll be fine. Goodbye. Uh, an entire ad campaign for revenge, and you don't even have a perfume to go with it yet? First the concept, Mrs. Tucker, then the perfume to fit it. That may be our hottest campaign yet. Mr. Leopold, is this the complete list of companies competing for the revenge contract? Oh, yes, yes, yes those six. Of course, we were counting on Maurice to come up with another winner. Greatest nose in the business. Mm. Do you really think he was murdered? Well, we'll know for sure tomorrow when we get the autopsy report back. Autopsy? What if it confirms he died of a heart attack? Well, we'll still think that Mr. Gerard was murdered. Why is that? He told us he was. Thanks, Mr. Leopold. No problem. Bye. Bye-bye. Yes? Max Leopold is on the line. Hello. We've got to talk. They're going to do an autopsy on Gerard. Don't worry. I'll have the formula prepared by tomorrow. One o'clock? Good. Same place. Bring a sample. Hmm? Who stands to benefit? I checked the will, and Maurice's royalties go to charity, so Beatrice wouldn't benefit. You know, you are in check, remember? I know, I know. Uh -huh. And then there was that small cash bequest to, uh, what's her name? Agatha Hanks of Eagle Rock. Yeah. Sounds like a maiden aunt. <laughs> She's an actress. Agatha Hanks? No. No, somebody else. Oh, I don't know. I'll have Marcia check her out. Whoop. Time's up. You are so cute. And it's still your move. Okay. You are giving me your queen, or so you'd like me to believe. However, if I go there, you'll go there. If I do that, I can't do that. What does Dickens think? Hi, honey. Oh. Wait a minute. Rick, Dickens thinks we should concentrate on the Rosetta Stone. You know, I think I'll stop by Gerard's home, see if there's a lead in his Egyptian collection. I am going to check with Stucky. And of course, Agatha Hinks. <laughs> of course. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm, uh, <clears throat> I'm going to take her. Mm -hmm. Voila. Did Dickens help you with that move? No, uh -uh, I did that all by myself. Wonderful. <laughs> Pawn takes rook. Checkmate. Uh -huh. Rick, I'm tired of playing games. Mm. Me too. <laughs> How about some atmosphere? Your move.
Will you stop worrying, Max? It'll take a sharp corner to identify the toxin I used, and even if they do, they'll never trace it to me. We've got bigger problems. Is this your idea of a joke? No. The old man's. He had a real cute sense of humor. Said he was bringing in the real formula that day. I figured he had the real one on him. You killed him for nothing. We killed him, Max. There you look. I've done my part. I set up a dummy company so we could cash in on this thing, but if you're gonna blow it, I want out. Max, we're both tired of watching others make the big money. Relax. The old man left a clue. I think I know where he hid the real notebook now, but we'll have to put off awarding the contract. I can postpone it for 48 hours, but that's it. But Mr. Gerard always paid his bills on time. It can't be three months overdue. I'm sorry, ma'am, but unless you provide a receipt or have payment in our office by 5 o'clock, we will be forced to shut off your water and power. Oh. Mrs. Flanagan? Mrs. Flanagan? think you're fooling. The people of this state have had it with your promises, Senator, and it's time for action, not words. It's all very well for you to say that with simple modifications, it'll hold 40 people per car, but we do not have the luxury of time or money for simple modifications that'll cost us in the neighborhood of $350,000 and take six weeks to complete, and even then...
where'd you find them? Was he much for gardening? Come on, Stucky, I'm parked in a loading zone. You see that spot on his wrist? Yeah. CPT. I'm glad to hear it. What's CPT? For your elucidation, young man, CPT is a highly toxic insecticide. Yeah? How toxic? Hmm. You can see for yourself. In less than seven minutes, one drop absorbed through the skin and... Looks just like a heart attack. You want a beer? No. Cup soda? Nectarine. I got some lovely nectarine. No, thanks. Yeah, maybe I will. Stucky, this CPT is so lethal. How do you get the stuff? It must be under government control. Yes, sir. You've got to be registered to buy or sell CPT. Tell you anything? Yeah. It tells me this guy was murdered. Thanks, Stucky. It's your wife. How you touch? Whoa, 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 wait, wait a second. Are you all right? Look, uh, meet me at the Sterling Mall. I'll tell you when I see you. Okay, be careful. Now, Rick, it's been on my mind. Uh, if this client of yours is a client of mine, you know, how are you getting paid? He already paid us. Monday. But he died. Friday. Yeah. It's weird, isn't it? <laughs> The trouble is, I never got to see his face. You should have had your gun. I know. I left it in my other purse. Well, it didn't match my outfit. Oh, boy. So, Beatrice has got the formula. Oh, yeah, yeah. Good. She's mixing up another batch right now. What are you doing? You gotta keep walking. The coroner said it took seven minutes for the toxin to act. So I'm retracing Maurice's steps back from where he dropped dead. And... This should be it. Rick, look. All right, remember Mrs. Flanagan said he stopped by the store on the way to work. To check out the perfumes. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but there was no perfume sample girl on the floor last Friday morning. That was Miss Adams' day off. Uh, Miss Petrosian, maybe there was a uh, substitute? We have no substitute. And uh, please, call me Norma. Well, somebody sprayed his wrist, Norma. Uh, <clears throat> Norma, um, you have a security system here. Does that include video cameras? I'm really not at liberty to say. Oh, come on. This could be important. How important? Well, I'm home after seven. Um, well, see, we have reason to believe that a serious crime was committed here. love to, but um, I'm married. A crime? What kind of crime? Listen, I really don't mind, uh, but you do, huh? Uh, Rick. Norma, we really need that videotape. You can talk to security, can't you? With those eyes, how could I say no? Oh, you're great. <laughs> no, that's a better angle. Mm. That's him. That's Maurice Gerard. There she is. That's our mystery girl. Well, she certainly plays her part well. He seems to like her all right. <sighs> She's likable. Let's get a better look. I checked all the phone books, the DMV, everything. There's no Agatha Hinks listed anywhere. Uh, how about unlisted or old listings? Nada. Mm -hmm. Check the whole records. 
Agatha Hanks. Agatha Hanks. I've changed my mind. She's not a spinster aunt. She's a meter maid who gave Maurice a break when his time ran out. Maurice remembered those things. How could someone with a face like this be a murderer? Remember Mata Hari. Yeah, good point. Also, Lucretia Borgia. All the records, please. Salome. Yeah, her too. No, that's the perfume girl's name, Salome Lipton. I found her. What did you do, flip up in the phone book and look her up in her gorgeous? No, no, not the phone book. The actor's index. Agatha Hinks may not be an actress, but Salome Lipton is. Salome Lipton? You said that she played her part well, so I figured if you wanted to kill someone that way so close up, you'd want to hire an accomplice who could play the part. Like an actress. <sighs> Never heard of her. How about you, Mr. Whitewood? You recognize her? Nope. Sorry. Oh, thanks, Paul. New formula ready? Mm-hmm. I've been watching over Ronald every step like a mother hen. <laughs> I don't believe it. What's the matter? It's another one of Maurice's red herrings. Oh, sure smells like one. Well, so much for Maurice and his Rosetta Stone. Mm-hmm. Everything was riding on that formula. Whoever killed Maurice must have gotten away with the real one. You might as well close shop. No, no. Hang in there. I've got a feeling we're going to come up with the real formula yet. We have a solid link to who the murderer is now, and all we've got to do is track her down. Well, you better hurry up and find her. Max Leopold has only extended the deadline for two days. I'm still here. Yes, yes, I'll hold. Hi. Hiya, Toots. Hi. What is that? Eucalyptus. I was giving your mother another driving lesson. She made me stop and cut these for the office. She said they would smell good. Now, where do I put them in? When did you have the time? On the way to the Department of Agriculture to find out about the CPT. Rick. <sighs> Any luck? I got a list of all the places that sell CPT. The nearest one is in Pasadena. Where's Marsha? Where you sent her to the Hall of Records to check on Agatha Hanks. Agatha Hanks. Hello? Agatha Hanks. Hello? She, Maurice, was an alcoholic, and Agatha Hanks of the Women's Temperance League got him to give it up. Yeah. Maurice never forgot. Gave up on the meter maid, huh? Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Any luck with Salome Lipton? I got her phone number and her address. Ooh. Where? Where'd you get this? Hodel in Vice. Thanks for lunch and the little uh, bonus. <laughs> it was only a phone call. Call it a token of my appreciation. Have you tried the perfume? I'm trying it right now. It's heavenly. That's just the beginning. You free for dinner? Oh, I can't tonight. I've got a date with some Texas oil man. He's already on his way over. So, we'll make it tomorrow night. Sure. And any other time you want. <laughs> How you doing? Hope I'm not too late. Looks like I am. And to break from 25 miles per hour? Uh, 61 and 7 tenths feet. Perfect. <laughs> Hmm, 
What do we have here? A bake sale or what? Oh, Mother's worried about a driving test today. She always bakes when she's nervous. Oh, just before Amanda was born, I baked 19 pumpkin pies and one pound cake. I ran out of pumpkins. Hmm. What kind of pies are these? Apple. Hmm. All apple. And what are we going to do with 10 apple pies? Oh, no, 12, 12. I, I, I'm going to bake two more. I get it. Hello. Yo, Stucky. What'd you find out? Hi. Hi, Marsha. Hi, Marsha. Should I ask about these pies? No. no. What do you got? Are you ready? Yeah. The address for Agatha Hinks. Terrific. Yeah, Stucky, thanks. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, how do you feel about uh, homemade apple pie? You got one. I'll bring it by. <clears throat> that was Stucky. He found traces of CPT in Salome Lipton's blood. Same as Maurice. Well, things are really falling together. Come on. Come on, where? Have I got a surprise for you? Ooh. That's Agatha Hanks? No. That's Agatha Hanks? Nope. This is Agatha Hanks. Uh, professionally known as Rosetta Stone. That's it, Martha. Rotate those hips, honey. Good, Helen. Now, this is much more fun than aerobics. You get to exercise and drive your husband crazy. It looks like it's very good for the abdominal muscles. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Maybe you should sign up for a few uh, lessons. Hi. Hi. <laughs> does uh, he belong to you? Yes. Yes, he does. Congratulations. Well, <laughs> thank you. Are um, you interested in some lessons? No, no. Actually, we came to talk to you. Maurice Gerard sent us. Oh. You must be the Tuckers. He said that if you were good enough to find me, you'd be good enough to solve this case. Of course, I didn't know he meant his own murder at the time. Well, then, from what you're saying, Maurice never carried the real formula on. Oh, no way. I was waiting for his phone call to deliver the envelope the day he died. Funny guy. Oh, but he was real good to me. Set me up in this business. He loved belly dancing. <laughs> he gave me the name Rosetta Stone. Well, how do we know this is it? Because Maurice left us a clue. Well, what's it say? Dear Mr. and Mrs. Tucker, this is it. What's your problem? You killed the girl, Salome. The Tuckers were on to her. I would have been the next stop. And you, Max. The Tuckers again. All right, now look, this is it. I leave for San Francisco in one hour. You have got until I get back tomorrow. If you don't have it by then, I can't stall anymore. I'm gonna have to give that contract to another company. Take it easy. The Tuckers have done us a favor. Huh? They found the real formula. They're bringing it in this afternoon. And just how is that gonna help us? Beatrice will start making that formula immediately. Not if she has an equipment failure. Two weeks ago, somebody broke into the Pasadena office of the Department of Agriculture. They took enough CPT to kill off every roach in Detroit. Guess who worked for the Department of Agriculture in Pasadena while he was a student at Caltech? Ronald Whitewood. Yeah. Do you remember when he smelled that phony perfume sample? He seemed almost happy. So I had Marsha check him out. How could he expect to pull this off? I mean, a Suddenly, the day before the competition ends, he comes up with a winning formula. That's right. 
He'd be a prime suspect, wouldn't he? Unless... Unless he doesn't claim the formula for himself. It slips it to another company for a payoff. Now all you gotta do is prove it. Well, maybe we can lure him. We certainly have the bait. How long is it going to take? B, it'll have to wait till tomorrow morning. Oh, well, that's cutting it too close. Start now. I can't. The condenser's down. Fix it. We will. There's plenty of time. Oh, I wouldn't do that, Ronald. Um, this has become a very dangerous document. Mm hmm Two people have been killed for this, and uh, you're a young man, Ronald. Well, that's right. We wouldn't want anything to happen to him. This time, I'm pulling a Maurice. I'm the only one who has the combination to that baby. Paul, would you check and see if the tubing's in? The condenser is down. Mm -hmm. Ronald can't make a try for the book with all these people around. Well, if he's going to make his move, it, it's got to be tonight, doesn't it? Are you going to be okay? What? Home. Well, I was until you asked. We'll see you at home later, okay? Home? By myself? Mom, of course. You're going to have your license by then. What? Uh, what if I don't pass? Mother, you are going to pass. Just relax. Okay. Now, if anything goes wrong, give Marsha a call on the car phone. We'll come back and pick you up. No, Marsha, we're never, never going to get there by then. <laughs> Good luck. Thanks. <laughs> well, call Max Leopold back and tell him we're going to be late. Okay, bye. Honey, what is the rush? Marsha called. Max Leopold wants us to meet him at the Sunlight Amphitheater. So it's urgent. Sun? Why there? He's shooting a commercial for the revenge ad campaign. He thinks he knows who the killer is. So do we. Unless Max Leopold knows something we don't know. Davies, you have 100 points at the start of this test. For each driving error, points will be taken off. Failure on any maneuver is grounds for the ending of the test. I need your signature on here, please, if I you would. Certainly. Okay. Look, I have to talk to Mr. Leopold. Well, can't you get a message to him up at the Sunlight Theater? Where he's shooting the commercial. Out of town? He can't have left for San Francisco this morning. I just talked to him half an hour ago. Well, who was the person? Oh, no. You sure they're filming a commercial here? Everything looks locked up. Well, let's check over there. This is mobile operator. 6392 doesn't answer. Uh, operator, uh, would you try 5558744?
Oh, dear. That could be important. May I? Don't mind me. Thanks. Hello? No, Marcia, they're not here. They're in the other car. Oh, I tried the other car. They're not answering. Oh, something wrong? Mrs. Hobbs, the light. Shh, 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 shh. I think they're headed into some kind of a trap. I'm going to call the police. Mrs. Hobbs! I, I, I'm not far from the theater. I could warn them. Oh, no, Ellen, don't go near there. Mrs. Hobbs, I must warn you. Uh, Marsha, those are the two people I love most in the world. I'm on my way. I'm sorry, Mr. Uh, Davis. Davis. Yes. yes, but uh, this is an emergency. The light! <laughs> I know, Mr. Davies, I know. Always obey the traffic signals. You know what? What? My thumbs are pricking. <laughs> What's that mean? By the pricking of my thumbs, something wicked this way comes. Oh, that's, um, uh... Macbeth. Yeah. Rick, I am getting something. A knife. Somebody in here has got a knife. Maybe he has a knife, too. <gasps> You looking for revenge? Honey, aren't we a little light on artillery? Yeah, you got a point. Here, keep them distracted. Okay. Mrs. Hobbs, drop me at the corner here, please, okay? Oh! <gasps> Sound your horn as a safety warning, and at no other time. Take care of this guy, will you? He kills people. 
Mother, are you all right? Yes, are you all oh, right? Oh, what are you doing here? Well, I was out taking taking my driving test, and Marcia said you were in trouble, so I came to warn you. Oh, oh. this is Mr. Uh, Davies. Uh, Davies, my oh, driving examiner. I flunked, Rick. didn't I? We're flying colors. Oh, oh Rick, oh, this is Mr. Uh, Davies, my, my, my driving examiner. I flunked Hi. my test. Oh. No, look, Mr. Davies, you got to understand we had a situation here. I, my mother-in-law, she was just trying to help us out. She prevented that, that killer from escaping. I did? Yes. You two are heroes. So really? Yes. Right. Okay. Look, I tell you what, why don't you call me and take your driver's test again next week, okay? But call me in advance. I want to wear my flat jacket. Don't you want to drive back? No, thanks. Mr. Davies, how do you like homemade apple pie? Oh, thanks. So apparently Ronald and Max did set up a dummy corporation. They planned to sell the formula to the Countess Bassini through it. Mmm, not bad. Max has been charged as a co-conspirator in Maurice's murder. Beatrice won the Bassini contract. Revenge is sweet. Huh? This perfume. Beatrice sent us a sample. Oh. Well, oh. give us a sniff. Mm. What's the verdict? Ooh, elegant, sophisticated, sensual, and just a hint of the great outdoors. All of that in one perfume? Who's talking about the perfume? You mean me? Elegant, mm -hmm. sophisticated, mm 